This weekend, HMS Queen Elizabeth will set sail for her first deployment. When I last checked, we'd, we'd loaded in excess of 900 pallets of food. We've loaded 54 ISO containers of equipment, two F-35 jet engines. Apparently they're about $20 million a piece, so that was quite an expensive crane lift for the driver. Half a dozen uh, helicopter engines, all sorts of other spares, spare rotors, and it's been going on day and night for almost a month because there's a lot of material gone into the ship. You can see behind me there's still stuff going in today. That's all to take care of the 1,700 personnel who will be living and working on board. Um, so I'm a writer, so I'm part of the, I work in the ship's office, uh, do a pay and allowances, um, we do travel, we do appraisals, um, and if I'm duty writer, we also are support firefighter and we'll be the ones tackling floods, if there is, an, if there is any, which hopefully there won't be. <laughs> This is the Royal Navy's largest deployment in more than a decade and they'll be gone for eight months. And what's the accommodation like on board? It's good, it's good. You have quite a lot of room for your own stuff. You have um, in bunk beds with quite a few girls, so um, it's good. You get used to living with people and it's nice. There's always someone there to talk to. Yeah, it's, it's good. I enjoy it. Joining HMS Queen Elizabeth are six frigates and destroyers, two Royal Fleet Auxiliary support ships, below the waves an astute class submarine and on board 18 F-35 fighter jets and 14 naval helicopters. I, I think it shows that you know we're, we're, we're serious, we're a we're naval capability that should be taken uh, seriously. Uh, the ship is designed from the keel up to operate uh, the, the latest jets, the F-35, the support shipping that goes with that, our destroyers and our frigates, you know, it's a fantastic capability and it shows that the Navy really has got a global footprint and that's something that we want to be demonstrating on this deployment. Following a two-week exercise joint warrior off the coast of Scotland, they'll head south through the Atlantic with a stop-off expected in Gibraltar before heading into the Mediterranean. They'll visit 40 countries in total, but it's a journey through the South China Sea that could cause some issues. When HMS Albion conducted a freedom of navigation exercise there in 2018, China accused the UK of entering its waters without permission. I mean, the disputed waters everywhere will be ready for anything. If one thing in my naval career, it's that uh, the, the plan that you sail with is rarely the plan you undertake. So we'll be ready for anything. Uh, it's one of the things that will embed in the young sailors in their training. Um, and, and we're looking forward to it. It should be a fantastic opportunity. The carrier strike group isn't all British. On board HMS Queen Elizabeth are 250 US personnel and 10 of the 18 F-35s are American. Once we get past the language barrier that we have, uh, it's actually quite easy. Our procedures in many cases, especially with the F-35, are almost identical. And so oftentimes you don't know if it's a US or a UK F-35 and many times we're mixed. And it's not until you hear the accent on the radio that you realize which nation the aircraft comes from. Preparations have gone so well for departure, there's even time for a spot of last-minute painting before setting off on their 26,000 nautical mile journey. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Portsmouth. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.